If you look in the picture, you can see like a black triangular shape. Many witnesses have spoken about 10-foot aliens at Bayside Marketplace Mall in Miami. Now there is attention drawn to Las Vegas, Nevada, where there are also reports of 10-foot aliens. Remember that family in Las Vegas that claimed a UFO landed in their backyard and say they saw an alien? Over the skies of Las Vegas a few weeks ago, police responded to a 911 call about a, quote, non-human visitor. Ah, uh, here we go again. This time, Las Vegas, Nevada. I was just over there in Las Vegas, Nevada. And now they're saying non-human human visitors and lights. This happened about a year ago in Las Vegas, Nevada. The strange thing is, this non-human visitor was 10 feet tall. These speculations of 10-foot aliens found in Las Vegas, Nevada have this connection with what has been going on in Miami, Florida at Bayside Marketplace Mall. Now to fill you in on what was going on at Bayside Marketplace Mall, there was a lot of chaos and then people screaming and panicking and running around. In the last five minutes, we saw a large group of police running. Look at all of these police officers. Maybe it was due to an alien sighting. That's what people in the mall were saying. We are not the only ones in this world. There has to be other intelligent life forms out there somewhere far away beyond what our minds can comprehend in this infinite open space that just continues on and on to infinity. The life forms have tried to communicate with us. They have sent signals and messages. We've heard them, we've seen them before. Beyond our sun, beyond the stars, those life forms exist. Intelligent alien life forms somewhere out there in the distance can have the technology more advanced than ours so they can fly so much faster than a meteor that could be mistaken for a UFO or maybe that meteor could be an alien coming to Earth. There has been numerous reports of UFO sightings all throughout the world, especially in Florida. Now in Miami, Florida, this place called Bayside Marketplace Mall, there has been a lot of speculation of aliens wandering around. And these aliens are 10 foot tall shadow figures that are drawing all kinds of attention from the media and people that are shopping. Now people panicking, running around. There was an enormous police presence there at the mall leading people to believe that there's something bigger going on. Now in the streets, people are seeing shadows hovering around. Some were saying that it was a helicopter doing that, but the light source would have to be above the helicopter but at night, the light source would be below the helicopter. Bayside Marketplace is a two-story open shopping center that was built on Miami's waterfront in 1987, located in Miami, Florida, situated on the banks of Biscayne Bay. Coincidentally, in 1987, an event happened in Gulf Breeze, Florida that had changed the world. Ed Walters, a Gulf Breeze resident, claimed to have seen multiple UFOs, and he wasn't alone. Nearly 200 people also reported seeing UFOs in the city. Now let's focus on Las Vegas, Nevada, where there has been reports of 10-foot aliens and UFOs. We now travel 2,500 miles northwest to Las Vegas, Nevada, where there's more UFO sightings. Remember that family in Las Vegas that claimed a UFO landed in their backyard and say they saw an alien? Police responded to a 911 call about a quote, non-human visitor. There were many reports of this green light falling down from the sky. Then some witnessed what they believe was a 10 foot alien. They're, they're claiming uh, eight to nine foot tall green beings that were in their backyard. You see, it was like a, it was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a little too tall. I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yes. why I'm kind of curious. Area 51, located in Nevada, is very close to these sightings of UFOs and these 10-foot creatures. In Miami, Florida, there was a cluster of lights in the sky that moved in different directions and vanished into thin air. Then in California, there was this triangular-shaped aircraft that was emitting lights. Why are these not flares? Uh, because they stayed there for a solid 10 minutes, just in the same spot. And flares don't sit in one spot for 10 minutes? No, they definitely, they fall. There's more lights around it. Yeah, this is weird. 
This triangular shaped aircraft lasted about 10 minutes before it vanished. Bayside Marketplace Mall may have some connections to these other UFO and alien sightings. Now, if we go on the opposite end of the world, opposite of Miami, Florida, it takes us to this part of Australia, the western part of Australia. Now, not too far from this part of Australia, there's another location where there has been numerous reports of UFO sightings. There has been numerous reports of UFO sightings all throughout Western Australia. Another thing that I find intriguing is when you reverse the coordinates of Bayside Marketplace in Miami, Florida, it takes you to the center of Antarctica, where numerous reports of UFOs and alien sightings have been documented. I'm going to show you what happens when you reverse the coordinates of Bayside Marketplace in Miami, Florida, simply by switching the latitude with the longitude and then entering in that data it will take you to the center of Antarctica. As you see, the coordinates were reversed. Antarctica is 8,400 miles away from Miami, Florida, and there has been numerous reports of UFO sightings and these mysterious circles that are in the ice that look like a shape of some kind of spacecraft from some kind of alien life form that has landed. There's also been evidence of a UFO that has crashed into the ice and left marks that are very visible. Witnesses saw these spacecraft moving and stopping in midair and then disappearing into nowhere. The technology behind those aircraft seems very advanced to be able to stop in midair and then proceed to take off at a high rate of speed and then vanish. Witnesses have seen a 10-foot creature wandering around in Antarctica. There is also a 10-foot creature seen on a Brazilian island as speculation of alien surface. This one looks almost the same as the one that was seen in Antarctica. Antarctica is guarded to protect a very unique environment, including the scientific research that is conducted there. Many claim there are big secrets being hidden from the rest of the world in that part of Antarctica. There are UFO sightings all around the world, and there's evidence of aliens that could have been left behind, such as a corpse of an alien. And then there's writings on the wall from the ancient Egyptians who have left symbols that look like alien ships. Here are some places UFOs have been sighted. 1959 in Russia, then 1978 in Poland, 1954 in Florence, Italy, 1946 in Sweden, 1897 in Aurora, Texas, 1947 in Roswell, New Mexico. As you see, there is a lot to discover in this world when it comes to the unknown, especially the life forms that are out there that are more intelligent than we are. We are not alone in this world, or this galaxy, this universe, or this infinite amount of distance that our minds cannot comprehend. Somewhere, light years away, there can be intelligent life forms out there capable of traveling the speed of light. We may have come across these intelligent beings from other worlds, but we just never recognize it because some may look just like us. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It really means a lot to me that you are here watching my content. If you like this content or would like to see more content on this channel, please smash that like button and don't forget to press the notification bell so you don't miss any content that I upload here on this channel. I will be doing a variety of different content. It's not going to be limited to one specific topic. Anyway, take care and be safe.